Hi, I'm Elke Holland from Prospect Society of Recruitment and I'm here today with David Cooper from Bluefinity. David, hi. Thank you for joining me. Hi. And today we're going to talk about entity modelling. Right, yes. Okay, first off, could you explain it to me, please? What is entity modelling? What is entity modelling? Yes, it's a rather grandiose term, isn't it? But um, And it's an industry standard thing, you know, it's not, okay. it's not unique to Bluefinity. And it really describes a process where you define your data world, if you like, as a series mm-hmm. of objects, and those are called entities. Okay. And so you, d- you describe the, uh, the kinds of data that each object has got and its relationships with other objects. Okay. Um, so Bluefinity, Bluefinity has embraced entity modelling, hasn't it? Correct. Yes, okay. we have. Yes. Uh, we, uh, um, two or three years ago, introduced a, a completely new side to our MD.NET product mm. called Solution Objects. And Solution Objects was um, primarily an entity modelling tool. That allowed you to that, that allows you to describe the content of your database okay. in terms of uh, entities, and it also contains a code generator that takes that description and generates a load of .NET source code that really manifests the content of your entity model, so that .NET developers can then access the multi-value database through that layer. Okay, so why did Bluefinity decide to? develop their own entity model tool when there are quite a few non-multi-value ones out there? There are a number of um, entity modelling tools out there, that, that's true. Um, probably the one that made, because we're Microsoft centric as an organisation, mm. probably the one that made the most sense for us to uh, to go with was the entity framework product from, from Microsoft, which is a good product, you know, don't mm-hmm. get me wrong, it's a really good product, but, but it has got a very SQL bias to its structure. And um, we uh, we used it for a uh, quite a few months actually, and although it, it kind of worked, uh, it was an uncomfortable fit between the the SQL world and the the, the usually you know, quite complex data structure worlds that exist within multi-value databases. Mm-hmm. You know, if your data structure wasn't that complicated, it was fine. But you know. Who out there has got simple data structures in the multi-value world? Yeah. And you know, it was that kind of the un- 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 uncomfortable juxtaposition between the multi-value and the SQL that we f- we felt didn't quite work within entity framework, and so we decided to to produce our own entity modelling, which makes sure that the full power of the multi-value database is retained in the entity model that's projected out to the the .NET environment. Well, that makes sense. Um, what sort of things have uh, developers done with the entity modelling then? Uh, we see some really interesting developments actually with mm. uh, with the tooling. What people uh, primarily do is to use it to create this, if you like, single point of projection of their multi-value database. So they're able to describe what they've got on their server in terms of entities and then generate the source code, compile that into an assembly that then they can give to uh, whole range of different developers who may be completely unaware of what multi-value is but they know how to work with classes in .NET and uh, and so that's what the uh, the entity model allows them to create this uh, this universal data access layer that's applicable to all sorts of different kinds of applications web services websites desktop mobile apps they can all go through this single projection of their of their database okay so what's the pipeline at Bluefinity for entity modelling? Well, because entity modelling is, is so important, mm. uh, because it, it, it's at the hub, if you like, of the, um, the exposure of the database content, um, that what we're doing within uh, Bluefinity is making it easier and easier to create these entity models and to allow the the, the range of different environments that you can target with these um, uh, entity models are broader uh, and more sophisticated. Okay, so it's going to be very important then. It is very important for Excellent. us. Excellent, look forward to seeing how it develops. Okay, thanks. David, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. That was uh, David Cooper from Bluefinity on entity modelling.